That was power right there, people. Your boy Sloppy Wilder got power. I'm talking about KO power. I'm talking about all type of power. I'm talking about Alabama Telehuski power, man. Good Lord, man. He put Brazil on his ass. Jesus. We got to see the Anthony Joshua, man. We got to see the Dillians, man. We got to see the Ortizes, man. I'm going to give it to the champ tonight, man. Listen, y'all know how I am about the Sloppy, man. But I'm going to tell you, man, his power is real. Ain't nothing like it, man. Good God, he did his thing. Thing, man, listen, people, we got to see this guy in the ring with somebody tough, someone rough, someone that's going to be able to deal with the power, deal with the head, that, you know, the speed and the agility of this cocksucker, man. I mean, we got to find somebody that's going to be able to, you know, exploit some of his weaknesses, some of his flaws, man. Now, I'm not, I'm not like praying on his downfall, man, but I see so many holes in him. You dig what I'm talking about? I know that if he deal with a dude that know how to counter punch, that got power, and that's as tall as him, that can move like him, like Anthony Joshua. You see what I'm saying? But it is what it is. You know, he did his thing. Let's not sport, let's not pour milk on a dude from Alabama. You dig? He did what he had to do. So right now he's saying, you know, he want that work with Anthony Joshua. He want that work with, uh, I think he's going to have a fight with uh, Ortiz. That's coming down the pipe, man. You dig? But, damn, that knockout was crazy, people. It was crazy, man. Listen, all I got to say is uh, he deserved everything, you know, that uh, is coming to him. Because, you know, with a sloppy style like this. And a guy that just don't do anything conventional, able to use that big power and knock out dudes that been doing this the right way for all their life. We got to give him props for that. See, you LDBC cocksucker, see, I'm giving your boy credit, but I give it to him the right way. This is the reason why we got to credit Deontay Sloppy because his sloppy style, his, you know, unconventional style allows him to get in the ring and use one thing and power. And that nullifies anything and everything that any other fighter that came to the table. You see what I'm saying? With the exceptions of my boy Tyson Fury. And he put them out, man. This was lights out, man. You feel me? I mean, he sent the message to these dudes out there, man. He sent a strong message to, the, to my boy Anthony Joshua. Listen, playboy, what's really going on with you, huh? You really want that work? Are you sure you want that work, huh? Because what did he do? But you already know Anthony Joshua was a different, different, different animal, man. You know, Brazil, Anthony Joshua, he already washed him out easy early. I mean, it took him seven rounds, but you know Anthony Joshua liked to play around a lot. He liked to jab and go to the body, and this is the reason why Anthony Joshua was the truth, because he went to the, he went in the trenches with guys. He didn't just knock out guys. He dealt with, you know, the adversity. You dig? That's why he's the toughest and the best that ever did it and got away with it. And we taking over, he taking over America, man, single-handedly. But at the end of the day, man, holla at your boy. We coming back post-fight. We going to talk about this whole thing, man, because I got some things that I want to talk to you guys about when it come down to Stoppy Wilder and his next opponent, man. Some breaking news and things like that. Rock with your boy. Oh, <laughs> Yeah. New media, new perspective. This is what new media look like. This is what new media look like. It's all about casual boxing talk. Just when you thought you had to figure it out. New media, new perspective. Casual boxing talk.